Here we go again. Morel hunting. Look at this. Just look. I get so excited when I get in the woods. I, like, if it's up to me, I wouldn't even come out of the damn things. It's just there's so much you can hear, see, smell, look at. You wouldn't believe what you see in the woods. But today, you know what I'm going to see? Morels. So, what's the chances of me finding morels today after we had snow and sleet this week? A little slimy, but I have faith in my morels. They're powerful. They will pull through, I do believe. I'm hoping to find some about at least this big because uh, I come out here Tuesday and it's about that size. Not here. Uh, there's another place, but I'm just saying when I get one out uh, Tuesday. Oh, my gosh. Look, I'm, I'm staying here. <laughs> I'm recording this video. I've just walked into this set of woods. I just literally started recording there. Let me show you something. Now, don't freak out. It's a beautiful thing. Don't be scared. But can you guys see anything in front of me? Let me zoom in a little bit and help you out. Look at that. Look, is that not beautiful? Tell me it's not. It can grow a little bit more. It's a little small. See, look how big my hand is. But that is a good sign. I literally just walked off the road maybe 20 steps into the woods and find this bad boy shining right at me already. And I was just, talk, just starting my video up, getting ready to start shooting up through this way where this dead tree is laying over. And I see this nice little field, nice whole bunch of bushes back there. A lot of dead trees hanging over on the ground. You will find these people, I promise you. Listen, it is a lot about the trees, correct. You gotta have the right bloom and everything. You see piles of trees in the woods, 90% of the time, you will find these and a few of them. Now, the thing about these morels, you can pinch them. Right at the bottom, twist and pull up and you still have your stem error. Right there she is. That's considered, you'll have them next year. But look at this bad boy. It's, it's okay size to pick. But I, um, I usually like them being a little bit bigger than this. But the main thing, if I found this one here, there's going to be bukus. I'm just guessing bukus. I'm not going to really check this area out right now. I'm going to make a loop. This has already been marked. Now I'm gonna go up through this way. I wanna get back here close to this hillside. Where them big rocks are back there. And you definitely, like I said, you always gotta watch where you step. I found this one almost like, I mean, there's nothing that comes back here. This is literally to get where I'm at right now. You gotta go through briar bush after briar bush after briar bush, lay down, crawl on your hands and knees roll sometimes even dive over bushes to get in to some crazy ass places to find these beautiful things it's a little chilly foggy like i said it's been cold this week a little bit we literally woke up i think it was tuesday morning i had almost a quarter of an inch of frost on my windows and it snowed it snowed. And that postpones some things every once in a while. Okay. This is the area I'm talking about. Look at all this dead stuff. I mean, dead stuff laying around like these bushes. How much you want to bet? Never mind. I done see one. Look, I'm going to point this. Zoom it in. See that bad boy right there? Let me get my finger up here to show you. If I get my finger right there, right. I can't do it because it's going to be out focused. I will walk you to it. 
I got to be careful because this is the area I, I, I can just tell by the way the woods are, how the bushes is, there's going to be lots of morels. How do I know that? I can almost smell them. Um, I just, um, <laughs> I got to watch what I say on here, I guess. I would say something else, but this one is a lot bigger, a lot bigger than the last one I got. The only reason I'm, I'm walking in slow because I see this one within so many feet, there's almost has to be a brother, a mother, a sister, a cousin, an uncle, an aunt, grandma, papa, stepsister. I love finding them all though. Oh, look, okay. This is one I found first, but look how much bigger this one is. This is the beautiful one. Like I said, it, it, I'm definitely taking these home today. But look, as I was saying, here's one. Just stroll up a little bit more. Keep on going. And quadzam. Here's another one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pinch and twist. And see how I left that there? That's a sign that you will have them here again next year. And it's just, it's healthy for, I mean, it, it helps it come back up. And easier. And it protects them. You see how I left the stem? I mean, you don't have to. You can go ahead and pull them on up. But it's just, I mean, it's not good to do that. Like I said, if, if you have a foundation for them for the next year, more than likely, they'll be up. I even hate to move them on my knees right now, and I hate to move because this is when I usually step and break one. Oh, okay. Look, you see the three I got here in my hand. This is what I say. When you find a spot of them, just don't grab them and then say, I got to get to the next spot, get to the next spot. Don't do that. See this rock? I'm going to zoom into it. Look at that bad boy sticking right there. I would show it to you. I'm going to walk slowly to it because that's my next circle I'm going to branch off of. Once I see that one, I'm going to run into more and more and more. I know there's some more around this little area, but I'm going to go on the back side of this tree and come in this way instead of going this way. I'm worried about stepping over them logs or moving one of them logs and rolling them on the one. Here's three of them. Not bad ones, not bad ones. Not bad ones at all. I'm on up here now to get this next one. Like I said, this, you gotta watch everywhere you step. You just, usually when you find one, they're everywhere and they'll hide from you. Sometimes I can smell them. I know you people are thinking he's crazy. I literally just walked off the road into the woods and found these. Does this make me crazy? And, and the way it's looking, I'm gonna walk out today with eatable. Whoa, whoa. Okay, as I was going to the one that I found beside the rock, right here's where I started, right here underneath this one. Right with my first one. All right, here's the rock with the morel, right? As I'm going around this corner, lucky right here in front of me. There's the rock. Here's his sister, his aunt. This might be his aunt. This is his aunt. Sitting right here, just looking so beautiful. Look at that, not a bad, another size one. As I repeat, snap, twist. Look at that nice little beautiful base you leave in there for the next year one. Now, okay, I'm gonna set these down right here. And I'm going to sit there for a minute. But here's why I just found that one. I still haven't even made it to the one by the rock yet. The mom. I still haven't made it to the mom yet. But I'm, I'm looking. I know there's got to be more right in this area before I move. I just want to double check. Almost guaranteed there's going to be. Found some garbage, but I'm going to get that up. See, that's one thing. When you do go in the woods... I usually carry a bag, but today I found me a bucket. 
Then I'm gonna use the fill up to take out the beer cans. Toilet paper, you might as well say. And junk like that. It's not a bad thing just to clean up, you know, it helps the environment. And as much as I love being in nature. So, matter of fact, I'm gonna stick these up on this rock. So I left my bag down there where I stored it because I got excited when I found that first one. I should still, I should have stayed there and searched that area, but that's my out, my out. So I'm gonna make one big loop. I'm gonna come up this way. There's gonna be morels over in here. See all them rocks and that tree's laying down? There's gonna be morels over there, I promise you. This, like I said. <sighs> okay. I just found the biggest one of today. I just seen it, the, this is the mom. I'm getting ready to pick the mom. Let me get her out of here. Pinch and twist. The base is still there. Set this up here with my other ones. Right, there's five of them within five minutes of being in the woods. No joke, people. And I've known people to go out and not find none. I'm Irish Indian. I guess the Irish I smell with my nose, the Indian is just knowing your layout. I guess I'm lucky. The perfect breed. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the mushroom I'm coming off the mother. I'm, the only reason I haven't moved yet is because I'm, I'm checking right in front of me first so I don't step on the aunt, like I said, the uncle, the stepsister. Okay, I'm going in slowly. Here's the next one I'm gonna branch off of, okay? I'm gonna sit down here real quick. And I'm gonna show you this. There's my pile of them. I started down there underneath this bush right here in front of me, This right here in front of this rock. This bush is where I started finding my morels, right? I'm making a circle around these rocks. Here's a big old one. Look at that one, right? Now, the one I'm gonna branch off from this one is right on the other side of the rock where I was at. I couldn't see it because of the rock. That's why I said I wanted to soak up around. I just don't want to step over. I really, you know, sometimes you, you like I said, you step on them. Here's the next one. Right here. That's coming off of this one. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch the third cousin from the mother. Look how I left the base. Good thing, good thing. It's always good to have mesh bags with holes in them. These things have buku, buku, a lot of seeds. I can't say that word, a lot of seeds. And when you're walking through the woods and stuff like that with it, it spreads all them seeds. This one was already broke. See how the, look at the stem. I'm gonna show you what the cold does to them. That's still not bad, that's still eatable. Beautiful coldness. Beautiful coldness. Look how big that bad boy is. Now see, I don't wanna to move too much. I'm in a section to where I know already there's gonna be 30, 40, 50, 60 more. I see some on the bank back there without even getting up and going that way, but that's too far for me to go back here by them two rocks. Right there by that tree sticking up there, I can see two more in behind. I don't know if you guys can see them, but that's too much space. That's about 20 foot span in between me and it. There are gonna be five, six, seven, eight more morels. I'm gonna stand up here very carefully. Watch where I'm doing it. Making sure I ain't gonna hit that because I know there's gonna be another one in through here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lay these down with my other ones. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I found seven morels already. I know this thing's going on 14 minutes video. I don't know which way to go. Because when I came in, I came right up the gut. I came right up the middle. I should have started on the edge and worked and combed and then followed these babies all the way over to here. Okay. I'm gonna scoot this way a little bit more. I'm gonna go leave my morels there. I'm gonna go get my bag later, come back. Now I'm going to where I found the last one at. I 
never thought I would ever record myself doing this, giving up secrets. But a lot of people goes by searching for trees and going off the trees and stuff like that. Like I was trying to tell you, if you see a bunch of woods, bunch of bushes, dead trees laying down like this, in the pal, you will find them. You will find them. You have to crawl, like I said, you gotta go through thick and thin, roll, dive, crawl. Okay, look at this. Okay, I'm not going too far. I found a stem, but I don't see the mushroom. I'm guessing something ate it, is what I'm just guessing. Here's a stem. See, I spotted that from over there while I was there. I thought, there was, like I said, there's more behind this little leaf here, but there wasn't. There's a stem. Hi, right, look at this. A stem. Something ate two of them. Okay, there's two stems here. What's that mean? There will be a morel. And this little span this should be probably bukus or more. I mean, I done found, I got seven of them laying down there on the rock with that little span. And I know there's bukus. You got all these leaves and stuff on the ground. If I step on one, I usually lay down beside it, baby it, touch it, pet it. And then um, I put it back in the ground. And I sat there and cry a little bit, not long, just a little bit. Just to make sure that I took care of something that I killed without eating it. Look at those trees down over there. Grant you there's going to be more over there. I am surprised I have not seen no more right yet in this little area. Because I just started right on the other side of this big tree right here. This is where I'm coming into the back side where you have to go over the rocks. What I was telling you, right? This is where I started finding the first ones. And plus, me having this phone on and talking to you all. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Right, this is where I started right there. See these little bushes right here? It's where I started finding my morels. And then went around this tree, come around this way. Lucky right here in front of me. Look. Here we go. Okay, here's the one little piggy. Look at that little bad boy. All right? Come over this way. Jump, 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 jump. Over this log, land down into this little sister. Just sitting here saying, look how pretty I am. Well, you may be eight today, but that's okay because I love you guys. And then, not nice one, that. Straw up this way. Look. Wham. There's one. Two. Number three. How many more you think will be right in this little area? I'm setting down right in the middle of this circle of morels. How many more you think I can spot out? Ha. All right, there's my three. I'm going to raise my camera up. Zoom back this way. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take you. Um, I will take you today too, because this area I'm in, I probably won't come back to. And I'm gonna take you, twist, and see how the stem's still there. I'm gonna show you guys. Look, on all three of these, but I got three of them in my hand right now, and I have seven of them laying over there. I'm gonna get up. I need to find me another place to set these stuff. I, I, I right now forgot my bag. I don't want to take too many steps any direction because I'm seeing them. Everywhere. Everywhere. Luck of the Irish, or if you want to call it. I'm going to start showing you. I got these three. I'm going to set down. I'm just, the only reason I'm going slow is because there's going to be some right here in these little bushes. You see these bushes? Just getting around. It's, just, it's, like it's, it's, it's like this is a little solid area. Okay. Now I'm branching off from this one. I'm going to set these right here. This is what I'm going to branch off of. I really don't want to pick these. How's how small they are? <laughs> it's a sad, but I'm going to. Like I said, because I won't be back in this area. 
I mean, I could. It's just a little drive. But anyway, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go ahead and get this done. Here's TJ. I'm taking TJ. Strong around the table. I'm going to pick a mat. Okay. Now I'm going to scoot over here. I'm going to scoot over from right here where I just picked this one. And I'm going to pick another one. Let's see who can I call this one. Let's go with Richard on that one. Hey, Mitch. I'm not forgetting about you. There's the ones I just found this little pal, right, Mitch? I'm going to leave this little group. I'm going to come and find you, Mitch. I don't know where you're at. But I found you. You are hiding back here. How dare you hide from me? Pinch, twist. See the base. Beautiful morale. Beautiful. Mitch, I didn't mean to kiss you. Don't get pissed. I know how you are about that shit. I was only joking. But I'm going to kiss you one more time. All right. Here's a 10 foot span. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven morels. And you want me to tell you? There's going to be so much more. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pick these ones up. Like I said, I'm, I probably won't be back to this area. So what I'm doing is I'm going to pick any and everything I'm going to get today. And this weather, has this been crazy? I made the mistake of not picking about a lot of them last week. And I went back to check that spot out today and they were hungover, not looking like these bad boys. These bad boys are deeply in the woods. I'm going to run these back over here and then I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to chill out because I'm freaking out that I just found a honey hole. Again, it's like my seventh honey hole. Every time I go in the woods, it seems like I'm finding honey holes. There should be more on this hillside. It's just the way that it looks, the rocks. Like, oh, see, I, said, I found the two that had the stubs here. That was something ate or something broke off or they fell off. I don't see them laying around there, but there's the two stems I found. I know there's going to be more on this hillside. I just got to get up in them bushes and crawl around. See, my knees is wet. But, uh, <laughs> I was just getting ready to get off. Okay, I made my circle. I should have went into my circle. I didn't go into my circle. I stayed on the outer edge, right? As I'm going back to put these with the other morels, look at this bad boy. Okay, here's the ones I got. Look at this bad boy. Let me show you this stem. Look at him. Look at the size of that bad boy. Still see the base? They'll be there for someone next year. And probably me. Right here's one, two, three, four, five. Let me just, I'm going to get them over here. I got to get my bag. I got to go back and get my bag. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get off here, go get my bag, chill out for a second, and come back up here and we think, think this. I've not even got started. Really? In this area? And what's messed up is this little area that I'm in right now. Let me just show you. Let me just show you, okay? I'm talking about a 20-foot span. A 20-foot span. Look at this. A 20-foot span. I still ain't got all this. Okay, right this where I started. Right here, this, this bush. Right? And all I did was come up around these rocks. Go around these trees and around it's about this is about 20 foot span and i found this many morels look at this this is one spot 20 foot span one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen there'll be 30 40 50 more just in this little span come up if not already hiding from me in the bushes I will be making a part two of this because I seriously got to get off here, get resettled. I have them all around me. I have them all around me. If you know 